Good morning, everyone. Um, th well, thank you all for being here this morning. This is a really good turnout, and um, we're glad. This is a really important issue, and we hope that you'll get a lot out of today. Um, at the outset, I'd like to say that uh, t when you have a conference like this, uh, it takes lots of people, and um, during my comments, I want to thank uh, a number of those people. So just want to acknowledge that this is really a collaborative effort uh, of a number of people. So 15 years ago, thereabouts, uh, I was running a methadone maintenance program, medication assistance treatment program. Uh, and uh, one of the issues that bedeviled us back then was the issue of people who continue to use other substances besides when they uh, got into a methadone program. Uh, 15 years later, I don't think that that has changed a whole lot. Um, how many of you are providers in who are uh, in a, okay, so almost everyone here, so you know what I'm talking about. You know that it's a, a really big challenge for us. Um, and the um, unfortunate thing is that even though it, this has been an issue for quite a while, our evidence base for how to address it really hasn't advanced as much as we have liked it to. And that's why I think it's so important to have this meeting, to bring together the best minds, uh, some of the best minds in the field to help us figure out as a field and as a system how we can address this issue. Um, today would not have happened um, if um, a number of people had not been um, very instrumental in, in um, both conceptualizing this and, and putting it together. Um, I'd like to especially thank uh, Roland Lamb. Where's Roland? And uh, yeah, there you are, <laughs> okay, and Dr. Trisanda uh, Taylor, um, who's uh, really the, the genesis of this came from them over dinner uh, probably about one year ago, and uh, just really talking about this issue and, and how uh, important it was for the field to deal with this, and out of that, uh, they really were the driving forces behind uh, pushing this idea forward and then getting uh, a number of other people uh, involved. In addition to them, um, many of the providers uh, in the Philadelphia Behavioral Health System have been very um, uh, important and involved. And how many of you are from Philadelphia in, and work in the Philadelphia system, just by a show of hands? Okay, so we have a number of visitors, and so we want to welcome you, but uh, our provider organizations were very important. Uh, CCBH, uh, and uh, particularly Dr. Uh, James Schuster, um, we want to thank you for your um, work and help and support of this. Ireta, who, which has been just a phenomenal resource. Uh, we have Peter Luanga, and um, is Mike Flaherty here yet? Uh, who may be here a little later. A tremendous resource for this state and for the region, and we're appreciative of their help. And then SAMHSA at the federal level has also provided some support for today's um, event. Uh, do we have anyone here from the state, um, from DOH, from the Department of Health, uh, BDAP? Okay, so we thank you for your uh, support as well. Um, so we hope that you get a lot out of today, and in the absence of having uh, strong empirical support for what we ought to do at, at, in the field, this is uh, an enormously important um, kind of conference. Um, we, we like to think of ourselves in Philadelphia as the recovery capital of the world. A couple of years ago, we developed uh, practice guidelines, and one of the key notions in our practice guidelines is that we use the best uh, supported uh, treatments, and uh, hopefully that will come out of today. So for those of you who are not from Philadelphia, as you go around, we just had the Super, Super Bowl, you may see people who look like they're T-Boeing. Um, it's not that people are T-boying, it is that um, people just read and found out what was in the governor's budget, and unfortunately they are praying right now. So um, we're under a lot of stress right now as a field, and if you saw the budget, uh, we have some serious challenges as a field. Uh, so uh, enjoy your day today, and uh, again, thank you all for being here.